Hello, we're Berry Baptist Church. Welcome to our act of worship again uh, today. Um, we're celebrating today the uh, completion of our series uh, going through Romans chapters 1 to 8, uh, entitled More Than Conquerors. Uh, and we're doing that today in the context of Holy Communion. So uh, if you'd like to share with us in the Lord's Supper later on the service, if you could get some uh, bread and wine uh, uh, ready, that would be great. Um, that comes later on. Uh, we're also using prayers taken from uh, the book of 1 Corinthians and from an organisation called Pray for Schools, uh, because that will be one of the themes today, is uh, praying for schools as they uh, uh, go back after um, the summer holidays uh, next week. Um, we'll have our usual notices uh, and testimony and children's time as well today. So uh, as we begin, I'll invite Joyce to uh, share with us some words uh, from 1 Corinthians. Thank you. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, the intelligence of the intelligent I will frustrate. Jews demand miraculous signs, and Greeks look for wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews, and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who God has called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God. Amen. Amen. Let's have a word, a moment of prayer uh, for confession. Just bring before God those things uh, from this last week that uh, uh, you feel um, regretful for, asking for the Lord to um, uh, wash away our sin as he has promised through the power of the cross. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's invite Joyce back to give us this week's notices, please. Well, hello, welcome to our service and notices for this week. Well, please join us on Sunday night at six o'clock for Zoom. We have a lovely half hour of fellowship. We catch up on one another's news and we can see one another and just keep in touch. So if you've got the technology, use it. Use it or lose it, that's what they say. And the same Tuesday night at 7.30, we hold a Zoom prayer meeting. Do try and come along to that if you possibly can. Got no birthdays this week, or at least not that I've been told of. Now, I would like to say thank you to Wayne, who organised our first church walk of the year, I believe. Because of lockdown, we couldn't have our anniversary walk in Easter. So we had our first church walk on Saturday of last week. We had a lovely circular walk around Hanbury, passing through Hanbury Hall, and all those that attended had a thoroughly lovely time. Now Wayne tells me he's got another walk planned, and this is going to be in September. Um, so I'll no notify you of that as soon as I've got the details, and if you possibly can come, please do, because we have a great time. It's lovely to get together, socially distanced, but it's really nice to be in the fresh air together. Now, as far as I'm aware, that's my lot for notices. So enjoy your week, enjoy the rest of the service, and I'll see you in a moment. Thank you, Joyce. Let's pray again, and a word of thanksgiving to God. I always thank God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. For in him 
you have been enriched in every way, in all your speaking and in all your knowledge, because our testimony about Christ was confirmed in you. Therefore, you do not lack any spiritual gift as you eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. Father God, we do thank you for the grace you have given us in Christ. We thank you, Lord, for the way you have enriched us. We thank you, Lord, that you help us in our speaking. We thank you, Lord, that you help us in our knowledge. We thank you, Lord, that the testimony of the New Testament about Jesus has been confirmed in us, his followers, through the years. We thank you, Lord, for all the spiritual gifts that you give us in Christ. We thank you, Lord, that as we wait for Christ's return, that we can be sure uh, that we will be able to see him as he really is and be with him forever. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And we continue in prayer of intercession, praying particularly for schools this week. Father, please pour out your blessings upon our whole school community so that everyone grows in the knowledge of your truth, your love, your wisdom and peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We pray for keeping schools safe at this time. Your word says, search for peace and work to maintain it. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right, and his ears are open to their prayers. God, our Saviour, please keep our schools safe and secure, protected from accidents and other problems. Restrain anyone who might cause harm to children and adults in any way. Amen. We pray for teaching staff. The teacher very carefully studied and set in order many wise teachings that are dependable and true. Lord, please strengthen teachers and help them to be firm, patient, expecting excellence, but forgiving of mistakes. May they support the students and motivate them to do their best. Amen. We pray for, pupil, for students and pupils of every age to fulfill their potential. Lord, you said, may he grant your heart's desires and make all your plans succeed. Father, please help children to benefit from all aspects of school life the environment and ethos, academic learning, music, arts, sport, and provision for spiritual and emotional well-being. Amen. We pray for administrative and support staff. Your word says, do you have the, ability, the gift of helping others do it with all the strength and energy that God supplies. God, our helper, please bless and unite all those whose expertise and enthusiasm contribute so much to the smooth running of our schools. Amen. We pray for educational plans and policies, particularly at this time of change. As you say, pray especially for governments to rule well so that we can quietly be about our business of living simply. Lord, please grant wise discernment to those nationally and locally who make far-reaching decisions and provide funding, guidance and support to schools across the UK. Amen. 
We pray for relationships and sex education work in schools. Your word says, fix your thoughts on what is true and honourable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Loving God, please help teachers as they undertake the task of teaching RSE in primary and secondary schools. May their lessons be appropriately informative and unbiased. Amen. We pray for children with additional needs. Your word says, let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle in heart. Lord Jesus, please help children in school who are facing many kinds of challenges and equip and encourage their teachers and carers. Amen. We pray for vulnerable children. You say, Lord, do the right thing for the weak and those without a father. Stand up for the rights of those suffering and in need. Father, please come near to young people living in the shadows of unhappiness, abuse, pain or fear. Bring new hope to any who are desperate and draw them into the circle of your love. Amen. We pray for the coronavirus' effect on schools. Your word says the Lord is close to all who call on him. He grants the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cries for help and rescues them. Lord, please provide our teachers and pupils with all they need in the aftermath of COVID-19. Help children to readjust and catch up on their missed learning, especially those most affected by lockdown. Amen. And finally, we pray for Christian students and staff. Jesus, you said, you are the light of the world. Let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. Dear Jesus, please inspire and equip those in our schools and elsewhere who love you to be faithful, loving, bold and wise ambassadors for the gospel through their words and lives wherever they are. Amen. Amen. Well, we leave you at this point to uh, let you uh, listen to our testimony for this week and children's time and we'll see you again shortly. <laughs>